afternoon from Nasebury. Uh, this is the first outing I've been on for like two months because we've had nothing but rain throughout the summer and finally I get to go and uh, go on a day trip uh, but on the day that I'm uh, filming this uh, there are train strikes so I'm a bit limited to where I can go today so today we're going to check out Nasebury uh, this is one of my favourite places in uh, the UK and it's a place you must check out and uh, visit for sure so today we're going to check out Nasebury and uh, I'm going to show you around and uh, why in front of me there's like a, a little market with gazebos selling various items and stuff so let's check out Nasebury so currently in front of me we've got the Nasebury castle as you can see uh, this is the information you want to check out if you come to Nasebury and uh, check out that as well guys that is pretty neat is that isn't it uh, so straight up in front is where the gazebo is with uh, quite a few stalls and stuff so something like stuff for the home smellies uh, artwork on the right hand side <laughs> thing to your drinks I've got drinks on the right there necklaces so this is on the day that I've come today so selling various things 15 pound for that 12 pounds for that uh, you can get a coffee on this side here too uh, more stuff for the home you can get a calendar here too and uh, this is the view of the castle right here guys you got cushions mats Uh, got seats for the garden and uh, a bit of food so they got cakes and they're gluten free too which is good donuts so that is what they're selling here today uh, I thought there would have been more food other than stuff for the home and uh, for zooming here, that is uh, a really nice view from this side here too. So the castle behind me is uh, 923 years old. On the 20th of December 1644, uh, the Parliament Cannon breached a hole in the wall above the Sally Port and it was ordered to be destroyed by Parliament in 1646. So that's just to give you guys a bit of history on the, the castle behind me. This bridge in front of me was built in 1851 by Thomas Greenger for Leeds and Fursk Railway. And this is the view right now. It is absolutely stunning here. Uh, I can't emphasize it enough and right behind me you can go up there and also you've got this uh, amazing castle lead too so further down that way you've got a busker you've got the riverside cafe on the left hand side there you've got the toilets around here <laughs> and along this side here too you've got a restaurant where normally you have to queue up 
but they do have a menu here so that is the menu there you've got a full Yorkshire breakfast for £9.80 uh, they do cheap batters they've got booze sweet things cold drinks ice cream etc uh, so that is the menu so if you want to pause the video for that you can and up in front you've got another place where you can get ice cream so there's quite a few places along here where you can get ice creams and stuff like that so good refreshments this place is always busy so if you go there uh, expect to wait for like 15 20 minutes uh, just depends how busy they are uh, you've got the black mulberry on the right hand side there which is a busy cafe but well worth checking out and up in front too from the same uh, Mary Gold uh, you've got an ice cream place up in front there too so pretty useful is that this is the place you want to be going to if you want to check out the boats and open from March to October every day from 10 a.m. there's a website and uh, down there is where you can uh, get prices so we're just gonna go up to the signage and uh, show you guys prices um, so for children it's free, adults is £10, senior citizens is £10, children family ticket is uh, £25 and that is the view right there, absolutely spectacular. When you stand there and you view this side it is absolutely amazing view. Check out that guys, absolutely beautiful here. And up there too, you've got a wishing well. And uh, you've got a place up there too where you can uh, have some uh, food and drinks and stuff. So up in front you've got PG at Ices, Waterside. And uh, you've got the pub here called The World's End. So you can sit on the terrace there. <laughs> and this road here is called uh, Waterside. And up in front you've got Bond Road. So this is the main road here. And up that way goes into Nesbe. Uh You've got a park down that way there too. So from the top here, I want to show you the view. Just going to let people pass as you do. So this is the prime spot of the view. So a couple of seconds ago I was down there, walked all the way up to the top, and there you have it. So I'm on top of uh, Kirk Gate, you've got a secret bakery up in front, you've got a subway, pharmacy on the left. We're gonna check out the town centre of Naysborough, just to see if there's any changes from last year. Uh, you got a bookies on the left there. And this is where you can park your car if you're coming to Nesbury. Uh You've got the courtyard, castle courtyard. On the right, you've got a Cafe de Lutcher. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, you've got another tea room on the left there too. And uh, you've got a monument in the centre where a lot of people will be hiding out. And you've got a cafe nearby on the left hand side there too. Uh, you've got a Blind Jack's traditional ales on this side of you too. Yeah. 
you've got the Royal Oak Pub, uh, you've got a local Louis agents, you've got the Market Market Savannah Pub on the left there. Uh, that is Chapel Street on the left hand side. Uh, so there's quite a, p a police presence there, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, we've got number 13 cafe all on this side here. Uh, we've got honeybees at Hannah's on the left. And on this left hand side here, you, you've got uh, Scarlet's Vintage Tea Rooms. Uh, you've got a sweet shop. you got a tea room there too. And that is it, so I don't want to be disturbing those people. But that is Scarlet's Tea Room there on uh, Green Dragon Yard. Uh, you've got the Cost Keys pub up in front. And if you go down here, it leads to the castle again. And uh, on, along this idea too, uh, there is another cafe down here along this idea too. On the left you've got a H bar where they do fine wines, home cooked food, real ales. You've just got to watch yourself for this traffic when you walk along here, that's the only thing. If you're into your fish and chips, you've got Drake's fish and chips up in front. Uh, I ate here last year and uh, they were pretty decent. So that is Drake's Fish and Chips. Pretty nice place. Uh, so a place I would recommend. You've got Soy Bar and Eats on the right hand side on this side here. And it brings you out to the bus station here. So you've got Sainsbury Local if you need any snacks or anything like that. You've got a pizza girl there and you've got a bake on the left and down that way you've got a load of uh, shops. So that is a wrap from Naysborough. Hope you guys find the video particularly useful if you're coming to Naysborough for 2023. Uh, I really enjoy myself here. And uh, by the way, uh, I will be announcing my next trip very, very soon. So not too long for that. Uh, somewhere I've not been in a very, very long time and very, very excited. So now guys, I'm gonna go to Harrogate and uh, do a vlog there. 
and uh, find something to eat. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and uh, hope to see you guys on the next one.